Hey guys, Lightning Zeton here, and today I'm gonna do another toy hunt. Now, um, if you hear the air conditioning in the background, it is because I'm doing a voiceover over this toy hunt video. And I extremely apologize, I forgot my recording phone. And as you can see, they have the Transformers aisle. The Transformers aisle is somewhat stocked. So they have some figures here and there, but some they have like less figures. But hey, there's Wheeljack. So there's a reason why I have to do a voiceover in this video is because it was loud. So yeah. Over here, I found something very interesting. I found the Studio Series Bumblebee from 2007 movie. There's also um, Cybertron Deluxe Hotshot as well as Animated Bumblebee. And I don't know if I should get Hotshot. I already have the, um, the um, I don't know, the other Hotshot figure. Oh, there's also that guy. I don't know who he is. They also had, finally, they have uh, Transformers 1 figures restocked. I just wish they were like this all the time. And because of them having the Transformer aisle, one, you know, the one that's very full, full of toys. Of course, the one that's usually there is somewhat empty. Let's check out the Godzilla aisle real quick. And not anything new today, but um, they still have the usual Godzillas and Kongs, Scar Kings, Giant Godzilla and Giant Kong, and the remote control Godzilla. For, Mar for the Marvel section, it's obviously looking really, like, bland, like... Oh look, there's Red Hulk! I'm not excited for the new Captain America movie. I, I lost interest in the Marvel Cinematic Universe after, I don't know, Endgame. And only watched bits of it after in Phase 4. You know, like No Way Home. So for the Transformers aisle, they have these Optimus Prime figures. An Optimus Prime mask that can transform. And um, they had loads of Studio Series uh, Gamer Edition and Wheeljacks. As well as the Legacy figures and Transformers 1. They have strong arm, a bunch of these bigger scale figures, and in the background they have the Decepticon Trooper. I never played those games. I never did. They also had um, whoever this is. I'm um, sorry, guys. I don't I don't collect Legacy that often. The only figures I got was the animated characters. Oh, they had this Starscream. My brother, I think, used to have the bigger figure of. Of that Starscream figure, but yeah. Still surprised to see this in stock. Um, pretty, I saw a TF um, wiki link and it said that Bumblebee is like secretly restocked or something. I don't know. Should I get this figure? It has lights and sounds, accessories, and the Matrix. So I don't plan to collect every Transformers 1 character besides Alita 1. But I do plan to get this, maybe, because... It's a big Optimus Prime figure, it has lights and sounds, and it would be a good display item since it it, light, it lights up, but I don't know, I haven't played it with it yet, or I haven't seen a video about it yet, but yeah. Should I get this? Let me know in the comments. So, he's for $50. Is he $50 worth it? Eh, I guess so, because he comes with lights and sounds. They also have the Lego Optimus Prime, the Remote Control Optimus Prime, and they had Studio Series Shockwave. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I have that figure. I picked it up from this target. And honestly, Shockwave is such a good figure. So yeah, there's a reason why I had to move away. Because there, were, there was a bunch of kids, like, you know, making noises here and there. And boy, they were really loud. They were really loud. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't come across any of the new waves of um, Trans Godzilla X Kong the New Empire toys. Such as Energized Godzilla, Kong with the Axe, like, you know, you know, without the Beast Glove. And Amanda ripoff, and hopefully I can see Mothra in the Walmart that's near me. Hopefully. Because I gotta act quickly, because otherwise... I don't want to get any of the new Godzilla toys online, especially on eBay for like 30, 30 or more dollars plus. I'm sorry, um, I don't watch Pokemon from what I've seen. My brother watches it, the original series. And from what I've seen, it's such a, it's such a fun anime, not gonna lie, it's really fun. 
it's very different from Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? I mean, I mainly watch Yu-Gi-Oh, but um, I stopped watching it for years. Why is there Simpsons toys all of a sudden? Are they making a movie or something? I don't know. So yeah, Red Hulk looks good, but man, they have three of these. They have one right there, one right here. I'm gonna put those two together, and they have one right, one right there. Those are the only Marvel Legends figures this Target has. For McFarlane figures, it's meh. I don't collect McFarlane figures. I mainly, um, I got some of them. I got the Animal Man or something just to customize him and paint the, paint him because he had a basic body. For Leader Class figures, there's, I don't know, the guy from Transformers Prime, Megatron, and Primal. Oh, they had Bumblebee. They had a uh, Bumblebee movie Megatron. That was surprising to see. I thought they sold out completely, but nope, they have him. Let's just put him up here in the front. Because he deserves to be in the front. Look how awesome that figure is. He has like five or six modes. So he's technically six shot. So, yeah. I'm so happy to see that Bumblebee figure in stock. I think I got him at Target. I forgot. I either got him at Target or I bought him online because I couldn't see any Bumblebees and... Yeah. It's been years, man. That figure was released in 2019, and or 2020, and I remember being hyped over that figure. And it's been like four years now, my god. Time has fly so fast in 2020, you know? So yeah, let's get the thumbnail shot. They had loads of Transformers figures. Such as the big Transformers 1 figure, Bumblebee, Shockwave, and Cybertron Hotshot. I think it's Cybertron. Correct me in the comments. So there's a reason why I didn't pick up the Transformers 1 uh, Orion packs. It's because I'm going to a convention soon. Anime NYC. And um, I don't plan to like, you know, get Transformers 1 toys. Maybe Elite 1 and Orion Pack slash Optimus Prime. I don't know. I may get it. Let me know in the comments, guys. And I need to save money as well because I've been spending too crazy on Godzilla figures. So, yeah. I didn't get anything from this Target again. I mean, I could have gotten this deluxe figure. It's because, you know, I could have gotten him because he looks better than the Studio Series figure. But like I said, guys, I gotta save money because I've been spending way too crazy on Transformers and mainly Godzilla stuff. Godzilla figures. Hey, look, they have Nemesis Prime. I could have sworn he wasn't exclusive or something. So yeah, the, the, the toys they have in this store is really good. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.